So the first one we're going to look at is just question one. So I'm multiplying fractions. So hopefully we didn't have too many problems with this one. We're just times in the top two numbers to give us 12. Times in the bottom two to give us 20. Simplify it down. Divide by 2 to get 6 over 10. Divide by 2 again. 3 over 5. Then we've got our divide and fractions. So hopefully we remembered our KFC method. So we're going to keep the first fraction the same. So we've got 2 over 5. Then we're going to change the sign to a times. And we're going to flip our second fraction. So it's now 7 over 6. And then multiply out again. So 2 times 7. 14. 5 times 6 will give us our... 30 and then we can simplify that down a little so we just end up with 7 over 15 so that's our final answer then if we look at our add and fractions so again we should have been okay with this one making our denominators the same so to do that we're going to multiply our two denominators together which will give us 54 on the bottom on both fractions and we're still adding them together and then we need to think what do we times our 6 by on this fraction to get to 54 we times it by 9 because we times our two denominators together what did we have to times our 9 by to get this 54 Again, we just times it by 6 because we multiplied our denominators together. Then we need to find our top numbers by doing exactly the same. So we're going to do our 5 times 9 to give us 45. And then 7 times 6 to give us our 42. Add those together. Still have 54 on the bottom, but we're going to have 87 on the top and if we simplify that down we could divide 87 and 54 by 3 which will give us 29 over 18 and then we could turn that into a mixed number so we get 1 and then 11 18 so 11 is a prime number so we can't simplify that down anymore final example so our taken fractions away similar to our add-in again needed our bottom numbers to be the same so we're going to have 54 on the bottom again minus 54 what did we have to times our 9 by to get to 54 times it by 6 so 8 times 6 gives us 48 what do we have to times our 6 by to get to 54 we have to times it by 9 so 9 times our 1, alright times 9 there, 9 times 1 is just 9, take those away, so 49 minus our 9 gives us 39, all over 54, and again we can divide our top and our bottom number by 3, so we'll end up with 13 over 18 and that is our final answer